What's up everybody? It's Vicious here and I accidentally tapped an answer while I was trying to start this. So um let me uh pick the correct answer. We have our second survey for the second open beta test and they're asking us more game specific, more uh, gameplay specific things. Um like this right here. Which character do you currently think is the strongest? It is too early to say is what I say. What character do you think is the weakest? It is too early to say. Which character has the most interesting slash fun playstyle? In my opinion, it's Ghost Blade. Out of everybody, he has the most fun playstyle. He has so much going on in you know, his uh, gameplay. He has teleports um, that can land him in the air behind you. He has a whole nother character fighting for him while he's fighting. Um, there's just a lot of cool things going on with Ghostplay, if you ask me. Ranger is also fun, and so is Kunoichi, but that's just me. What character did you play the most? I would have to say it was Ghostplay, because I wanted to learn Ghostplay. How was your most played character's performance slash potential in regards to his play difficulty? Yeah, had good performance compared to the play difficulty. I wouldn't say that it was completely balanced. Uh, no DP kind of sets him back, but also that teleport is really good. I don't know if I would say it was balanced, um, but I think that compared to his performance, yeah, it, I mean, I'm sorry, compared to the play difficulty, it was good performance. How is the current balance between offense and defense? Offense is way more advantageous. Like I've seen a couple videos and I've even demonstrated on a stream um, how it's easy to break somebody's guard and with certain characters too. Like Inquisitor can break the guard. Um, I've seen a Twitter video on that. I've seen a Twitter video of this uh, Asian player using Berserker and just doing a string that the opponent could not, I don't believe they could have rolled out of it, but there are select situations where you have to roll and you have to know that you have to roll or else you will get your guard broken by certain characters that they have a certain amount of meter. So I would say that offense is more advantageous um, because when you try to counterattack with your meter, uh, they can block it. If it was unblockable, that'd be something else, but um, you can block it uh, and... Um, with Inquisitor, when Inquisitor sets up her unblockable, the problem with the Inquisitor is the Inquisitor can be far away, so you can't counter it. It's a, it's a bit of a problem. What do you think is a needed feature regarding offense and defense? Defense needs to be buffed. I think that the guard stamina needs to be reassessed. Um, characters like Vanguard have a special ability when they awaken which causes more guard stamina damage with their, I think, special and MP attacks. Uh, don't quote me on that. But he's supposed to cause more guard stamina damage. And it is harder to, you know, break somebody's guard with Vanguard than it is with, like, Inquisitor, Berserker, um, and Grappler. So I think that his, in his instance... His stuff needs to be buffed because it's not overwhelmingly oppressive. You can roll past his stuff. You can jump over a lot of it. Um, Inquisitor puts a wheel on the on the entire screen, basically, or like at the end of the screen, and you just have to guess when she's going to do it. You know, and it's re it's really tough. So I think that defense needs to be buffed. I think the awakening for Vanguard needs to be buffed because it doesn't feel like it does anything. Um, but everybody else. I think their guard stamina needs to be buffed. It's a little too low. What do you think about DNF Duel's combat systems? HP system, conversion, auto tech, guard break. I like the systems. Let me say that. I like the systems and I like conversion. I like conversion more than I did in the last uh, beta. But I still don't like how conversions use your recoverable life. Because it puts you in situations where you, um, where you have to like think super fast, right? And like you have to think fast in any fighting game, but you have to think, am I willing to sacrifice this little bit of health or this lot of bit of health just so I can extend the combo or, you know, what I mean, and it, it it's it's really tough.
it's a really tough thing to do and i don't think it's for everybody i think a conversion meter would be good uh separate from the special attack meter i think that'd be a good idea and hell maybe have an icon above their head like they do on dfo when it's full i don't know um that last idea i could take it or leave it but yeah and let's see well what do we have here more improvements slash additions should be made to make the game the mind games more varied i think so but the way that is worded is kind of odd like honestly i think there needs to be a super meter and i think there needs to be some meter for conversion because it kind of I don't like how you have to wait till you're like at your last bit of life before you can do a super. It can be hype, but it's just kind of unnatural to me. I don't want to say it want, it needs to be simplified. I mean, maybe it could be simplified because conversion is kind of um, uh, complicated, but I don't know. How is the difficulty for in-game control? Uh... It should be simplified to allow a broader audience to know. The current balance should be maintained. More improvements between player skill. It's too early to say. How about that? Because uh, the answers that they've given me aren't the answers I want to give. Because what I want to say is, how is the difficulty for the end game control? The difficulty is cool. Um... But there are some things, like I said, but they have, they mostly had to do with the HP conversion system. Like I ran into a couple of people that were doing conversions accidentally or some shit. Like they would jump into the air, do a conversion and like then get hit and then do another conversion. You know what I mean? How's the pacing of the current game? It needs to be hastened. It's way too slow. Um, running across the screen. Like, there are situations where it requires, like, a micro dash or, like, a really quick run so you can punish, and they just won't let you do it. Um, if the speed was increased from the last beta, I can't tell how. And which direction should DNF Duel's content be structured? Let's see. I don't even know what to say to that. Like, it's content? Are we talking about other stuff besides the arcade mode or i don't know what is your experience with fighting games i play both 2d and 3d fighters what device do i use gamepad let us know of any bugs you encountered during open beta test um disconnections hold on Sorry, I got big fingers. I had some disconnections every so often, but that's it. Let us know of any thoughts you had during the current state of DNF Duel's balance. I think guard stamina needs to be buff. There are quite a few situations where it can be broken. And I don't want Inquisitor to be nerfed. I just need the guard stamina to be buffed. But that's it, everybody. Let me know what you guys think. Are you thinking the same thing or am I tripping? Um, what improvements would you suggest? Um, hit me up in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.